Hollywood. Stay calm, okay? Let's not lose our heads. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's going to work. And now. And now. Here he is. Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. It's the new year, and I'm sure that uh, some of you girls have uh, gone back to... <laughs> back to the gym. Because you have a, um, you know, a New Year's resolution. Is that what they call those? Stupid. New Year's resolution. But uh, I'm sure some of you girls got back to the gym. Others? Well, you didn't make any resolution and you're not back to the gym. But uh, I'm sure some of you guys out there... Once the holidays were done, you took a look at that big fat ass that that sleeps next to you. That uh, big, uh, it's beyond calling it a booty at this point because all the things are starting to hang down in the booty area that weren't there before. So it's booty plus. She's a piggy piggy. Big. She's big. You've tolerated it. Maybe you were hoping on the first of the year she would go to the gym and do something about it, but right now she's doing nothing. And as I've always loved to point out on the program, boys, I can guarantee you that if you broke up with her today, she'd find her way to the gym. You see, that's the thing. She's fat because you tolerate it. She is. That's why she's fat. She's fat because you stay with her. <laughs> uh, you go to the gym, boys, and when you go to the gym, what happens? You see girls working out, sweating away in their little tiny tops, some of them with some gutage hanging out. But these girls are working really, really hard. Ever talk to these girls? They just broke up with their husband. They just broke up with their boyfriend. And they, quote, unquote, need to get back in shape. But they never need to get back in shape when they're with you. When they're with you, they don't have to be in shape. There's no longer any competition for their services. No longer any competition for your services. They can sit home and they can have, uh, you know, Cinnabons and $5 foot logs and whatever else they want to have. <laughs> By the way, as insidious as it is, the number one jingle on TV is the one for $5 foot longs. It is the number one. I, I, I saw this when I, I first saw that spot. I said, this is going to be huge. Huge five dollar foot locks. How do you know it's number one? I don't know it's number one. What do you mean? Are there like charts? I, I I haven't seen a chart, but I do know that the advertising industry does track this stuff. And um, I'm going to do some research and find out how these things are tracking because there's just no doubt about it. The best advertising, and as you know, I work in the advertising business. The best advertising. Is the advertising that, that uh, sends a clear, direct, succinct message in as few words as possible. The most successful billboard of all time was six words. It said, if you smoke, please try Carlton. Boring ad. Artwork, not interesting. They didn't even have a picture of a pack of Carlton cigarettes in the ad. It just said, if you smoke, please try Carlton. And um, that upped Carlton's market share a couple of percentage points. The most effective ad, and, and this one for Subway, where they just do that stupid jingle, that they say about $5 footlongs, genius. Jared is nowhere to be found. They're just singing and dancing and doing the hula to $5 foot long. Yeah, I'm telling you, you can't get that song out of your head. It's in there all the time. Now, I have to check this. Somebody told me if you go to the Subway Sandwich website, subway.com, somebody told me there's like they've actually made it like a three-minute song, like a pop song. And you can listen to the $5 foot long song on the website. I've been a customer of Subway for a very long time, and uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fan of advertising. And when I saw that commercial, I said, this is going to be like the biggest thing, honestly. I mean, the only thing it's missing is, you know, like on the Super Bowl, you know, that, that's that's when you get like Christina Aguilera to sing that jingle or uh, <laughs> you get Britney Spears, you're, you uh, roll her out uh, two o'clock in the afternoon to uh, record that. That's what you got to do. 
<laughs> that is what you got to do. <laughs> Just amazing. The five dollar foot long. So now Dean Dean actually did some research. He found the top ten jingles of the twentieth century. It's a little dated by now. Uh, number one jingle of the twentieth century was "You deserve a break today" at McDonald's. Uh, number two was "Be all you can be," U.S. Army. And then there are other ones that your grandmother might know about uh, that I'm not going to bother to repeat here. But the five dollar foot long song is the most. That's the most effective jingle I've seen in a commercial in years. It's a recession. People want a deal. It tells you everything you need to know. Everything. Everything. So there. See, so your girl is sitting home eating the Cinnabons and the $5 foot logs, whatever she's doing, and uh, she's just got a, just a huge, huge ass. Huge. And, um, you know, like I say, she'd be in there working out and drinking smoothies and sweating to the oldies, whatever they do these days in gyms. But I can tell you, she'd be out uh, doing Pilates or whatever. As long as you weren't there. She's only fat because you let her be fat. Why do you tolerate that? Why do you tolerate it? You tell me you can't do any better than that? I, I have to hear why you put up with it. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-8666. The Tom Likas Show. Like his show. 1 800 5 800 Tom. It's our telephone number. Why do you put up with your chick being fat like that? It's the new year. For God's sake. Oh, don't tell me you've got it. Don't tell me. Just talking about that $5 foot long sum. <laughs> Oh, the song you can't get out of your head. <laughs> Unbelievable. There's a song to think about while you're on the treadmill. Those of you who have gone back to the gym after uh, 1st of January, you have a New Year's resolution. You jump up, you go to do your cardio there. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Walking on the treadmill. <laughs> Which is just what you need after you've been to the gym for an hour. Is to head over and have a five dollar foot long. I know they're on my training table. I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right, one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. This is, is that Amen? Hello, Dad. Your name is Amen? Amen. Amen. What kind of name oh. is that? It is Syrian name. As they, say in, as they say in Boston, what are you anyway? What are you, an Arab? What are you, Hawaiian? What are you? I am an Arab, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it is a blessing to speak to you, Dad. <laughs> Thank you so much. So I wanted to tell you how I did not put up with a chick who was getting fat. How? Well, I met her through a friend, and uh, she she looked all right. We worked together for probably... You know, I, there's a way. You could give her a hint. Maybe you want to be subtle. How do you give her a hint? Well, here's what you do. You change... The, you, ever, you ever change the ringtone in your girl's phone? So you change you change it from you know whatever she's got on there. You change it to this. Now, if every, 
every time her phone rang, that song came on, she'd get the hint. Speaking of advertising, Dad, I bet you anything, if some agency puts this as a ringtone, they'll make a lot of money in the next few weeks. I'll bet they've already done it. They're, they're pretty they smart. i got to tell you, they're pretty smart. They're pretty smart. Whoever wrote that jingle is pretty smart. What an ad agency. I'll tell you what, they're going to win awards for that. And uh, not only that, but, uh, you know, before we close Guantanamo Bay, one great way to uh, to get people to talk would just be to start. Five, five dollars, five dollars hey, we get those Middle Easterners to talk. Here you go. Five <laughs> Who needs waterboarding? Come on. You're cracking me up, Dad. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. So, long story short, Dad, uh, she she definitely didn't have an active life, lifestyle, and I didn't um, didn't have the song that you you've been playing. So I, I sent her a Facebook message, and I said uh, I I was honest. I said, Hey, you know, we have different lifestyles, and a you, you don't you don't work out and I and I you know I work out every weekend I mean uh, on the uh, you know during the week and it, that just didn't fit me and I said goodbye and she she dude she sent this long message like a a yard long email well first or, or off, a yard wide you didn't do this <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do this and you didn't do that and you never invited me to work out blah 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 and I said. <laughs> DTV. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Love you, Dad. I appreciate your show. Appreciate what you do, and thank you for the free service. Love you. Thank you, son. Appreciate the call. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. You putting up with your chick getting fat? I mean, please, Sal on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Yeah. So uh, I found a technique that I employ that happens to work pretty good. Kind of like, and I use the analogy I went out with your phone screener. It's like walking a dog. And if you don't walk your dog, it's going to get fat. So the best thing that I've found to do is incorporate activities into uh, your daily life. And uh, that helps keep the LBs off. And if that doesn't work, then you use uh, subliminal uh, messaging when you're hanging out in public. But, and start pointing out different facts about different things. Like, wow, would you look at that on that person? Or, holy crap, look what just walked by. Look how thin she is. Wow. Love that. So that's what you like. Yes. Yes, I do. You like those little skinny things. Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> and, it's and the real kicker, and this is the biggest thing that I've learned through the years, was that... uh any time someone ever tells you, or, you know, namely a woman asks, does this dress make me look fat? Say yes. If, if, it, if it does, be honest, for the love of God. I mean, yeah, what's the worst that'll happen? She'll leave you? <laughs> Go ahead, leave me! Thank you, Sal. Joe of the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing, man? Doing okay, Joe. All right. Hey, I got a good story. I um, I got married like three years ago. Me and this chick have been dating for uh, for like five years before that. And, you know, she kept herself up really good. And like the minute we got married, that waistline just started growing, you know? Yes. And then eventually it just gets to the point where they just can't wear the same clothes anymore, you know? Right. So eventually you get that, hey, you know, I need to go shopping for clothes. And I was just like, no, no, you got to just keep wearing those, you know. And uh, <laughs> How'd you react to that? <laughs> she, uh, yeah, we had a little bit of a fight, but I just said, no, man, you're not just going to keep putting on weight. I'm not going to just keep buying you bigger and bigger clothes, you know. And um, yeah, that was it. That That basically did it. So the more weight she put on, she just couldn't fit into her clothes anymore. Now, the minute you dumped her, I'm sure she went back to the gym. <laughs> yeah, so I've heard. So, anyway, I just thought I'd throw that out there for you. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate the call. Saban on the Tom Likas Show, hello. How are you? Doing great. Great. I just called because I do not agree with you about the subway 
Jingle Mingo being the greatest advertising campaign ever. Why? Well, why not? It's horrible. I mean, the first time it came on the TV, you know what I did? I almost threw my remote at it. I turned that thing off, and I promised myself I would never eat that subway. <laughs> It's not horrible because you remember the message. It's a simple, clear marketing message. You remember. I mean, it makes me never want to go there. But why? Because it's the most annoying thing in the world. You probably don't go to Subway anyway. I do. I do. I go to Subway. I like Ralph sandwiches better, by the way. So. Well, well that's my point. Subway's not your favorite. I, I happen to love Subway. I've been going to Subway forever. So this, this advertising campaign becomes the greatest thing for Subway lovers and not for everyone in general. Well, the point is, I, I'm, I'm sure Subway would like to get their regular customers, I, I don't know about casual customers, but if you can get your regular customers in there uh, during a recession, there's a very effective way to do it. Is an advertising put out there for the casual customers that don't come in all the time? The regular customers... Uh, it's uh, advertising put out there for anybody who's going to come in and spend more money. Yeah. That's what it's for. Okay. Well, and by the way, uh, by the way, I, uh, you know what? I, I I'm not annoyed by that. I'm much more annoyed about the uh, the, the plumbers uh, who show up on time and smell good commercial <laughs> than I am. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I don't care how you smell. I just don't want to see your butt crack if you're a plumber. Okay. How about they promise that maybe that's next? Oh man, that's funny. And guys who wear suspenders, so you don't see their butt crack. I mean, come on. Dude, Tom, there was a uh, there was an advertisement. I don't know who saw this, but I mean, out in the Canoga Park area, on Tampa and Van Owen, there was yes. a paint store that had butt crack spackle as a big advertisement. It was the great. I, I consider that the greatest advertisement on this planet. It was a big old painting of a fat plumber, pants halfway down his butt, crack showing with butt crack spackle as their advertisement. <laughs> I think the best ad for Spackle will be to get Cameron Diaz to wear it like shaving cream. <laughs> I, th I think that's one possible use for Spackle, I do. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone. That's why we never have guests like Cameron Diaz on the show, because I say things like that. I know. Let's say hello here to Gabriel on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? You're the man. Not much. Hey, man, uh, I, I was... Uh... I don't know if you've seen the actual TV commercial of the subway. I've, I've seen several of them. Do you notice how the girls are with their hands making the you know the size of the of the foot long? Yes. Yes, and I've seen that. Please. <laughs> Come on, you gotta love that. Yeah, they they want the foot longs, and I, I, I don't know. They're, I don't know if they're talking about sandwiches. <laughs> Well, if you're selling yours that cheaply, Gabriel, I, I, you speak for yourself. <laughs> one 800 800 tom is our telephone number. It's Zach on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, it's a pleasure. I know. Hey, I just wanted to call just to comment real fast on the guy before who said that uh, jingle was annoying. Whether or not it's annoying or not, he's got it stuck in his head. And he can't get it out, period, whether he likes it or not. So, But... uh my main thing I want to talk about was you talking about waking up to the fat ass next, uh, next to you every morning. Well, uh, I uh, kind of went against your rules. I'm in a relationship for five years now. But uh, at the beginning, I let her know that uh, I despise fat chicks. And if she gets fat, she's done. It's been five years. She hasn't gained a pound, Tom. I love that. And she knows that if she does, she's out, right? Oh, yeah, she knows. I still, to this day, like I said, it's been five years. To this day, if, if I see a little bit of uh, something folding out, I, I let her know that, uh, you know, the, the deal's still going. It's still on. Thank you for that, Zach. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Now, I'm looking at an article in Advertising Age about the $5 footlong song. And it says here, the song created by production house Tone Farmer is stupidly amazing and proves the power of a song to get across mundane messages beautifully. Slate Magazine, which is an online uh, website, Slate.com, tracked down the composer whose name is Jimmy Harned, or Harned, 
to dig his brains on the piece that's so hard to ignore. And here's what he says. The chord structure, I'm, I'm not a musician, so musicians will understand this. The chord structure of the song does imply something dark. And then he apparently got out his guitar to demonstrate it over the telephone. He said, on the word long, it goes down from a C to an A flat, he said, strumming, which is kind of a weird place. It's definitely not a poppy, happy place. It's more of a mentally place. But at the same time, the singing stays almost saccharine. <laughs> Says They go on to say, this is an advertising age magazine. The odd chord changes. The A flat isn't in the C major scale. Remind us of Jefferson Airplane or psychedelic indie bands like Olivia Tremor Control. <laughs> but more importantly, they remind us that there's still talented people creating art in the name of sandwiches. <laughs> I, I, I've been on five dollar foot longs on the first day it was on TV. I saw that. That that's gonna be big. Five, <laughs> five dollar, five dollar foot long. Oh yeah. <laughs> 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Ben on the uh, Tom Liger Show. Your last name isn't Laden, is it? Hello. Yeah, I said your last name isn't Laden, is it? No, it's not. I would have to call the Department of Homeland Security if, if that were the case. I'm sorry. Hi, uh, you're on the radio. Um, hi, I just have two things that I want to say. The first is um, you mentioned about fat girls, but what about fat guys that... Um, as women tolerate with this. I say any woman who wants to leave, go. All right, then. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I, I've always said I don't need a girlfriend or a wife. I don't. Okay, and the second thing is I want to know, does... Um, Notice that, that argument. There is no response to that to that uh, argument. No response. I'm sorry. What has it been? Um... The second thing is, does Subway pay you for um, playing that song on the radio? No, they don't. So uh, many times. I wish, well, I wish they I did. Think, then I think you should send them a bill. You think I should send them a bill? <laughs> yeah, or you have your um, advertisement people send them a bill. Come on, don't you love it? Yeah, I love it. So that's why I think you should send them a bill, because it works, and now it's all in our head. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Appreciate the call. Uh, Gary found out there's a dance mix of the song at Subway.com, a dance mix. Is that on the Subway.com or is that on YouTube? I think it's YouTube. YouTube. It's very funny. All right, we'll take a break. We'll come back with more of your phone calls. Uh, is your girl turning into a real fatty? Are you tolerating it? It's a new year. Why isn't she working out, for God's sake? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. Shorter commercial breaks, less commercials, more phone calls. We take them faster. On the ball of that, Elizabeth on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. I want to know just how one way you are. So I want to know if it's so, if you think it's okay if hus when a husband gets fat and lazy and complacent, the wife doesn't. You have him. every right to leave at any time. What, what is the, the difference between men and women is that women refuse to leave. They stay and they nag rather than just going. If you really have the courage of your convictions, get out. No, I don't know per se it's me, but, you know, you're talking about, oh, women get fat, so just get rid of them, or some of the other people who called us said that, but you wouldn't believe I that say men if get you, fat. I say if you, then, then, then leave. All right, so it's just a mutual thing. If it's male, female, it's then, not then like leave. a fat No, line. go ahead. You should go. If, you, if, if that bothers you that much, you should leave, absolutely. All right, so it's not just males that should do that. Although I would say that in most cases, men are paying the bills, and the reason men get fat is because they're working so many hours and commuting so much, uh, they don't have time to go to get their nails done and go to the gym like, like most chicks do, and it's usually subsidized by these guys. Of course, a lot of women are entering the workforce, too. Well, and those who do, uh, again... Uh, uh, you know, if a guy is upset that she won't uh, keep her figure, then he has every right to go. Okay, may I ask you something else? 
Here comes the <laughs> what she thinks will be a cunning comment. No, it's she not. Thinks she's going I just to want to know me. that Here it comes. Story, that storage of women you keep. I want to know, like, if one of them ever calls you and she's needy or lonely, can she call you, or is it only I want you? So you well, know, she can you call getting... me, and if I'm available and I've uh, got nothing better to do, uh, I'll certainly uh, uh, service her. Yeah, okay. why not? So that's mutual too. Well, yeah. Where'd you get the idea that it wasn't? Okay. All right. That's I'm not cool, promising but... any outcome. I'm just promising I'll show up and uh, do the job. All right. Just as long as it's mutual. They're just uh, not... No, well, not... But it's not to be fair. I mean, if, if I don't feel like doing it, I'll let it go to voicemail. All right. May I ask you one more question? Maybe I'm with someone else. Oh, now comes the cutting No, mark. it's not. I just want to know what you think um, of the statistic that colleges across the country have more women than men. Oh, Except I'm, for, like, you know, MIT and places like that. I, I don't really care about that as much as I care about who's working and earning the money. And uh, it doesn't matter that women go to college. They uh, frequently end up not using those degrees for very much for very long anyway. Okay, you rock, Tom. Thank you. one 800 800 tom is our telephone number. You want to hear the dance mix? Oh, do we have the dance mix? Oh, i got to hear the dance mix. <laughs> Just leaving office now. They could have used this at Gitmo. I'll tell you what. We'd have been locked by now. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Five dollars. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you know there's some jock in the club playing this today. <laughs> oh, God almighty. thing is, what's great about it is whoever composes and produces that knows it's annoying. They're going for annoying. Shut up! <laughs> They're doing it knowing it's annoying. And I think it's genius. I... I... <laughs> I, I absolutely think it's genius. Call me kooky. Stephanie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Dad. How are you? Doing okay, dear. Good. I just had a couple of uh, comments, one about the footlong song and the other one about the fat issue. Yeah. Um, first of all, the footlong song is awesome. <laughs> I bob my head along every time I hear it, and I just got a Guitar Hero for Christmas. Every time I hear a new song, I'm like, that would sound awesome on my guitar. So I think they ought to market that for the Wii or, you know, for the Guitar Hero, because I would love to play it. <laughs> I love that. They ought to do a karaoke <laughs> version of it. Exactly. You could just play along with the drums. They got everything in there. Wouldn't for that be you. great to be, you know, like in uh, Koreatown with the brass monkey at two in the morning singing that? Come on. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you like to see some drunk singing this? <laughs> and trying to hula? <laughs> The other thing I had to say was about the fat issue. I was driving home from work, and I had that New Year's resolution to lose weight for my yes. husband. And um, I was about ready to just go home and play video games. And you said, you know, is your wife or girlfriend getting fat? You should boot her. And I decided to drive to the gym. So I'm actually sitting outside the gym waiting to go inside. Good idea. It is a good idea. Thank you, Tom, for keeping me on track. Um, everything you say is pretty much spot on. And I'm not one of those, you know, jerky women that... Think you suck. I actually think you rock. So. Thank you, Stephanie. All right. Can you take me out with a bong hit? I certainly can. <coughs> it's 
1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Jeremy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, good afternoon, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. Good. I just had a quick question for you. Like, um, you know how you say that if your girlfriend gains weight or your wife or whatever, you know, whoever you're with, like, you just give them the boot? Does that apply for men as well? Because I overheard you saying that earlier with Elizabeth, I guess. Uh, no, what I'm father. saying, though, is that women have every right to uh, bolt. It's unlikely they will. Okay. It's unlikely they're going to go. Women don't want to leave. They want you to do what they say to do. And I guess you're right in that sense because uh, I've been with this uh, with this female for like about almost two years, and uh, she met me as a big guy. But um, but she always like throws it out like oh you know like you need to she doesn't tell me like you need to lose weight she's like you need to cut down your food you need to exercise a little bit more because of your health yeah she's she throws that like because of your health right and well, in a way she is right because you know I'm 29 and you know like certain symptoms about our heart attacks or you know I'm not like you know I kind of feel that right now you know I'm like maybe I should cut down stop eating that red meat because i love my hamburgers i have like hamburgers like almost every day well i uh, you know jeremy it should be a decision you make when you're ready to do it not right. what she tells you to do it do you need a mommy i don't <laughs> if you no. want to lose weight if you want to work out then you'll do that right you know like i guess you know she she you know i guess she loves me or whatever because we've been together for a while and you know if, I'm, I'm assuming if she had a problem with it you know, it would have been done a long time ago. Thank you, Jeremy. Appreciate the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. All right, seriously, uh, is your girl, uh, you know, a bit porky at this time of year and uh, not doing anything about it? Uh, why are you putting up with Tom. it? Tom. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. of the $5 footlong slot. Oh, my. <laughs> Dennis. <laughs> Are you there, Dennis? Yeah, I'm right here. What's up, Tom? <laughs> Not much. You're the best. Everyone should listen to you. Anyways, uh, you said uh, that court change, he, the guy said it was uh, something about being sinister or something like that. Well, uh, the reason why, because people, I guess, well, the, in the churches, they, their music, they never had, they always had that happy tone to it. Yes. And, and someone one day decided to change one note and it sounded really sinister and uh they said it was they considered it demonic and devilish and all this stuff <laughs> yeah <laughs> what yeah. would make what would make a commercial jingle demonic what would do that who knows maybe so would, satan they, prefers a certain kind of chord change is that what you're saying yeah, like the, the certain type of, uh, say, like, I'm gonna say it's the, the, say the church will play these, these three set of notes, C, E, and G. Alright, the one they would change would be C, E to G sharp, or what you said, A flat, and that gives it like a, a deeper, more sinister sound to it, and they weren't rolling with that. They're like, uh, no, that's not, that's not happy sounding like. <laughs> Maybe somebody should uh, re-record it that way. <laughs> oh, maybe the There'll point be somebody of it on was, YouTube. The, yeah, maybe the point of it was to record it like them, making it sound demonic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Carmen on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. 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 How are you? Great. 
Um, I, I want to go to the overweight women issue. Um, I've worked with a lot of overweight women to um, help them with their fitness goals and um, dieting. Yeah. And um, definitely there is a fundamental spiritual issue of why women as well as men are overeating. And it's really just like feeding the soul, you know? And the, the body is more than food. What do you think? Well, I think that's true. I do think that uh, uh, many of us are more focused on tasting everything in creation and not uh, worrying about eating to live. Yes, exactly. And that's why, you know, I, I try to, um, you know, I'm, I used to be overweight, and I'm in excellent shape now, and I do work out a lot, and I can pretty much eat whatever I want and still maintain my figure. But um, I realized that, as I get older, I'm not going to be able to do that. So I have to start thinking of food as more of like a survival thing, like you're saying. And, um, you know, I just, I think that if we focused more on the spiritual aspect of ourselves as, as human beings, then a lot of other things would fall into place. You know, food, you know, being one of them exercising i know that um people who are very depressed sleep in a lot and don't get up and you know make it to the gym when they should as often as they should and so i just i really really believe that if people would just get their spiritual lives in alignment um with god well, I'm, I'm, now that, that i'm not going there with you I, i'm an atheist and to being spiritual has nothing to do with it. But I thank you, Raul, on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's happening? Not much. Hey, man, I've only been listening to you for about a month or so, and I just really wish I would have listened to you a long time ago. Boy, so do I. But, so does my accountant. <laughs> well, check it out. I've been with my wife for eight years, married for two. This past year, she's let herself go a little more. She just had a baby about ten months ago. Okay, I, I've seen some women have a baby, and within two months, they're, you know, back to what they used to be. So the only thing is I would like to approach her with it, but she's real sensitive about everything. She gets all, you know, crazy about How it. How old is your wife? She is 23. How long have you been married? Uh, two years. How long? Two years. Two. Married two years. We've been together for eight. So you're with her since she was... How old? Fifteen? About sixteen, fifteen, sixteen, yeah. Uh, well, you know, this is kind of what you get. Yeah, yeah. She's matured. She's matured a whole lot, to be honest with you. So is her butt. There's just some issues I still can't talk about, and it just, it, it really sucks. What's a good way to approach it? I mean, when's the know? last time she saw her belt buckle? Uh, no, she's not that bad, but it, it has gotten, you know, a little bit... She's always been a little thick, but straight thick, nothing hanging over the side. You know what I mean? Not and a muffin top? Oh, she's real nice on top. Real no, nice. no, muffin top, I said. You know what a muffin oh, top oh, is? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. She's a muffin top? What's the deal? Yeah, yeah, kind of, just kind of hanging over the hips a little, a little <laughs> bit, you know. So it's like, no, that's, that's nice and straight, nice and thick, good. But she's overdoing it now. Right. But uh, you know, once you get married, you've given up your bargaining position. You either stay or go. Yeah. Well, the thing is, do they get that comfortable? Yeah. You know, I, they, I they, there's no competition it. anymore. There's no. Uh, they stay thin to get you to sign the contract. You see. The, the thing is, you know, I'm not a bad looking guy, and and the thing is, you know, she knows, you know, there's other girls out there and all that. But yeah, but you're married to her. You got married, therefore, you're not going to be with them. That's how she sees it. Ah, where 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 have you been? I, I wish I would have listened to you a long time ago. Well, I've been right here, Raul. Where have you been? Yeah, well, I, I I came out from the Imperial Valley out to Orange County about two years ago. So, oh boy, yeah. And by, and by the way, uh, do I see here you're 27 years old and you already have three kids? Yeah, well, actually, I have four. Uh, Why? Two, two with my wife, uh, then two with two other uh, well, girls. Why did you do that? Uh, I was young, dumb, and, you know, 
for Full of enthusiasm. Here. Yes, yes, I know. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Denny on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Uh, okay, Denny. Uh, so I just wanted to comment on uh, the Subway song there. I have to agree with your previous callers, man. I mean, that song is so annoying. But uh, at the same time, it's really catchy, and I've been going to Subway since I've heard it, man. Yeah, and you remember that they've got $5 footlongs. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I also want to comment about uh, the guys gaining weight. Uh, you guys better watch out, man, because you see the women stick around, but they also cheat on you when you gain a little weight. Well, they cheat on you anyway, which is why you should just not commit to them, you see? Uh, yeah, that's true, that's true. Well, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, can you take me out Subway style? <laughs> Subway, $5 footlong style. $5. <laughs> one eight that, that, that that's gonna be the next one you know the next take me out there it is these things happen organically you can't plan them one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom that's our telephone number it's Dennis on the Tom Likas show hello hey what's up Tom not much Dennis yeah um, I just had a comment on the um, girlfriend gaining overweight you know I've been with my girl for about four years now mm-hmm. And since the day that I've been with her, she's at least gained about 20 pounds. I mean... But wait a minute. It says here... It says here... Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. It says here you're 20 years old. Yeah, I am 20. And so you've been with her since you were 17? I'm listening to you. I know. This is what happens. This is what happens. So so what do I do, Tom? (laughs) Get out. Get out. I let her go. Yeah, why not? She hasn't had a baby with you yet, has she? No, no. Thank God, no. That's coming next, you know. I know. I just, I was freaking out about that just the other day. Freaking out about what? Well, yeah, um, I better back to it, you know, but I just, I got lucky. I don't know, I guess. She's going to have a baby. And you're going to remember I said this. And you're going to say, what do I do now, Tom? I didn't listen to you, and now I don't know what to do. The Tom Likas Show.